uh, Len Bruce, Acting Executive Director of Medical Services, Murrumbidgee Local Health District. Welcome everyone to our weekly catch-up session. Um, so I would like to start by congratulating the community. They have done an absolutely magnificent job uh, in getting tested. I just received the numbers, so we've now tested a total of 5,145 5, um, patients. And of those, 1,178 tests were done in the last week. And for those who can remember the previous week, there were only 680 tests. So we've almost doubled our testing numbers in the last week. So great work to the community of the Murrumbidgee Local Health District. Um, now, as you're aware, we started our mobile testing clinics. And in the last week, we have tested 97 um, patients at mobile testing clinics. Now, the good news with all those tests, we still not have tested another positive patient. So the numbers remain at 45. And we think it's almost three weeks since we've last had a new case. So clearly, the community is doing the right thing in terms of you know, social distancing, staying at home when they're symptomatic. And then, you know, even with the mildest of symptoms, please present for testing. Now, if you want to be tested, but you don't think you've got any symptoms, please feel free to contact the COVID hotline that we can have a discussion and, and make a plan for you. Because the, the one problem with COVID is that things that we would not normally consider as symptoms can be a sign of uh, COVID disease. So if you're unsure, you know, contact the COVID hotline, contact your GP. Um, and we'll make a plan to make sure that you get managed safely and appropriately. One of the other updates is that we have recommenced some elective surgery that was postponed as part of our COVID-19 response. Um, and we've done some cataract operations this week. And the plan is to be doing um, some additional cataract operations and some orthopedic procedures in the coming week. Um, and we will you know keep the community up to date in terms of progressing with elective surgery um, obviously in line with the guidelines provided by the federal and state government and i think it is important that there will be a slight increase but it will not be back to the levels it were you know before COVID 19 started because we need to remember that um, we have done a lot of training and our staff are um, ready but once again there are still the concerns about um, making sure that we manage PPE wisely and appropriately and also the concerns about social distancing um, so you know things may be a little bit different they may have their pre-op consult with me via telehealth which is great um, but we just ask the community to bear with us we know that you know um, people need their operations and we will try and get it done as soon as we can. Any other questions for me? Is that no active or known cases of COVID in Wagga anymore or right now? As far as I know, there are no active cases in Wagga. Um, if you go and look on the website, it looks as if we have new active cases. And the reason for that is that the, the screening criteria has changed. So what would happen in the past is that once you've uh, recovered or released from isolation is that you were ticked off as having recovered but now even patients who may still have a cough after they've recovered is still seen as not recovered so if you go and look at the website it may look a little bit strange but um, that's just because the definitions change over time it's not that we have any new patients we've had good news on coronavirus in the region yeah. are you warning people not to get complacent most definitely. I think the reason why we have good news is because everybody's been working together. You know, I think people turning up to be tested, you know, that's probably you've made my day, seeing double in the number of tests. But we have to still remember the basic things. And why have we been successful? We've been careful, um, you know, maintaining the social distancing. If you're unwell, do not go out. Uh, you know, I cannot stress it. If you've got symptoms of a cold or flu, do not go out and get tested. Um, and, you know, I think if we, we can remain vigilant and be careful and do the common sense things, um, you know, I think we will keep, to, uh, we'll keep the community safe. 
Um, and once again, as you know, that some of the regulations have been relaxed a bit. But once again, you know, if you're unwell, do not go and see an elderly family member. You know, rather phone them up and keep them safe that, you know, you can visit them when, when both of you are well. No questions. Beautiful.